All right. Thank you so much for joining us today. Those that they are returning, our new subscribers and everyone, thank you so much for joining us. So in the previous video, we talked about differential equation. We talked about the types of differential equation, which is ordinary and partial differential equation. And we looked at the order and degree. So if you have not watched that, please go back and go and check that out before you come here. Now, we are come to talk about solution of differential equation. What is the solution of differential equation? I will just, without even reading the definition, I will just give you a quick example for you to understand. So for example, let's assume that I have x squared plus y is equal to 1. Now let's differentiate this with respect to x. We are going to have 2x plus dy over dx, which is equal to 0. Now, this is differential equation, and this is the solution. The idea is that you see that this is kind of like we are assuming that this is, um, let me say, this is an equation, right? That is, that is satisfying the differential equation here. So you saw that we differentiated this and we had this. So basically, that is what we are talking about. Like, I mean, when we are talking about solution of differential equation, that's what we mean. So a solution of differential equation is a function that shows that the solution satisfies the differential equation. So we see that this solution here satisfies the differential equation here. So basically, that is the idea of solution of differential equation. Now let's take some example and let's practice to see what we are trying to mean from what I was trying to say. So we want to verify that this equation here is a solution to the differential equation. So basically we want to say that this was the function that we differentiated and we had this. That is what we are just trying to say. We have two ways of you know, doing this. Yes, any of them is fine. So I'll do first one and then I'll try to do the second one. Then you choose the one you think it's okay for you. So let me start by writing the equation down. So they've given us 2x plus 1. So for me to verify this what i'm going to do is i'm going to differentiate this and see if it's the same as this good so let's do that um y prime is equal to two right because when i differentiate this i'll get zero and when i differentiate two x i'm going to get just two do you get it good now the question is the question is is it the same as the y prime given to us let's find out now the question is that you see that y prime is equal to 2, but y prime here is not equal to 2. But we see that this function here is depending on y. So we need to do substitution here. Because when you find y prime to be a solution, this one should be only x. So this is going to be 2 times, what is y? y is 2x plus 1. So I plug in 2x plus 1, then minus 4x here. Then let's try and simplify. So I'm going to have 2x plus 2. No, this one's supposed to be 4x plus 2 minus 4x. And we see that this guy will cancel this guy, and we are going to have 2. So you see that this is the same as that when we are done with the substitution. So this is one way of verifying that, oh, indeed, yes, this is a solution because I was able to differentiate the function given to me, which is this. And when I differentiated, I was able to get the same thing as this. So basically, that's what we are talking about here. We can also use another way of, you know, showing that this is true. How am I going to do that? After picking y is equal to 2x plus 1, and we saw that y prime is equal to 2. What I can do here is I can plug in y, is e y prime is equal to 2 inside the differential equation because we know that y prime is equal to 2y minus 4x so i can plug this guy inside this and see what i'm going to get so let's do that and see when i do that i'm going to have 2 is equal to 2y minus 4x so basically we want to see if yes this is true for what we are just doing so what i can do here is um, this is kind of very simple. So I can try to make y the subject and see if I'm going to get this, right? Or, so we have two ways of doing this. So, or 
I can just substitute y is equal to 2x inside this and see if I'm going to get the same thing as the left-hand side. So let's do that. 2 times 2x plus 1 minus 4x. This is 2. This is 4x plus 2 minus 4x. And we see that 2 is equal to 2. Right? Or from here, from here, I will jump from this and come here and write this one as, I'll, I'll try and make y the subject here. So I will just have 2y is equal to 2 or 4x plus 2. So what did I do? From here, I move the negative 4 to this side and become positive. Then I divide through by 2. So I'm going to have y is equal to 2x plus 1. And indeed, it's the same as what is here. So we have so many ways of showing that, okay, a particular function or equation is a solution to the differential equation. So the one that you want to choose is good for you to do, go about it. But basically for what the one that I will recommend is I recommend for you to choose the first one, you know, differentiate the function. When you are done, try and see. Sometimes this is in the, this will be in its simplest form. So when you differentiate this, you get the solution straight away. But if this one is in, is in terms of y, then what you need to do is you need to plug in the y inside this and then boom, you are done. So this is how we can verify that a particular function or equation is a solution to the differential equation. Let's look at this one too. So we want to verify that this guy is a solution to this guy, right? So you know, that's the reason why it's also good for you to learn all the two because basically always, it's not always the case that you are going to get the same thing. So let's see how we are going to go about this. So y is equal to cos x, right? So let's find y prime. y prime is equal to um, minus sine x because we know that when we differentiate cos x, we get minus sine x. Then since this one is going with y prime prime, I need to differentiate it again. y prime prime is equal to, when I differentiate sine, I get cos. But since there is minus here, I'm going to have minus cos s. Now, what I need to do is, as I said, you pick the first one. And then when you finish, you try to do the thing here. So y prime prime, right, plus y is equal to zero. We want to see if differentiating this two times is the same as this so how are you going to do that this is by making y prime prime the subject and i'll see that this is equal to minus y but what is y because we said the right hand side should be in terms of x what is y y is equal to cos s and indeed y prime prime is equal to minus cos s showing that yes this is a solution Another way that you can do this is if you don't want to go by the, the, this way, then you can continue from here and say that, okay, since I have this, I want to show that indeed this is equal to zero. So what is y prime prime plus y is equal to, what is y prime prime? y prime prime is uh, minus cos x plus what is y? y is cos s and then I add cos x to it and this is going to give us a big zero showing that when I add these two, I'm going to get zero. So this is a solution to this. So that is the idea of, or that is how we need to verify if a particular function is a solution to the other function. Let's take, you know, more complex, you know, examples, like, and see how we can do this. So how can we do this? We want to show that y to the power, e to the power y is equal to e x plus c is a solution to this differential equation y prime which is equal to e x minus y so as i said the more you are doing this then you master your, your way out that is basically what we just need to do so how am i going to do this first we said you can differentiate this and then try and see if it's the same as that and then you are done so let's do that how do we differentiate an exponential function find the derivative of what is on the top so when i differentiate what is on the top i will have dy over the x which is the same as y prime so this is going to give us y prime 
y prime e to the power y, right? So I differentiate what is on the top, then I multiply it by the whole function, right? So this will be equal to, now the same thing to this one, differentiate what is on the top and multiply by the whole function. But when I differentiate x, I got 1 times e to the power x. And then when I differentiate a constant, basically I'm going to get 0, right? So that's what I'm going to get. So let's see what we are going to get here. So y prime e y is equal to e x. So y prime is equal to e x divided by that. And using indices, we know that y prime is the same as e to the power. Since they are having the same base, we can subtract the exponent. So x minus y. And this is the same as this. Very simple. So you see that some of them, when you do it, automatically, you don't need to manipulate this before you see this, right? Because this one too is in terms of y. So basically, that is the idea of solving. So with differential equation, one thing that I will tell you is your derivatives should be very good. And I'm doing video. It's not out. When it's out, I'll just prompt you guys. I'll put it on the platform for you to check. I'm going to design derivative for the level hundreds, the first student. And then what, what we are going to do is I'm going to take them step by step how to do differentiation of various functions and all the tips that you need so that when you play that video, you'll be able to now come back to differential equation because differential equation is about integration and differentiation. And if your integration and differentiation are no good, then this course is going to be very difficult for you. Yes. So that is the idea. But with this video too, I'll try my best to explain some things to you. But the idea is that it becomes so difficult also when you are not good with differentiation. Good. I think um, before I give you the trial question, do I have trial question? Yes. I will talk about solutions. So with differential equation, one thing that we need to learn is solutions. What are solutions? We have two of them general solution and particular solution. Now with general solution, always contain a constant. So basically that's what I'm trying to say. So for example, I can say that um, y is equal to, let's say, sine x plus c. So this is a general solution because this general solution here contain unknown constant. I don't know c. So this c is called unknown constant. So anytime I see an equation which is plus a constant k, c, any of them, I call it a general solution. Now, what is a particular solution? A particular solution is when we get exact value for the constant. So now let's assume that we solve this and we are getting something like c to be, let's say, 6. Then this is now going to be y is equal to sine x plus 6. Now, this is called a particular solution because we know the exact value for our constant c. So here we are assuming that c is equal to 6. So that is the difference between general solution and a particular solution. But moving from general solution to particular solution needs something that we need to learn or some things that we need to do before we can get c to be equal to 6. That is what we are going to talk about in the next video. We call it initial value problem. And we are going to use to, you know, solve a lot of examples. Now, before we start the next video, I just want to give you these trial questions to try, right? So verify that for the differential equation, this, the following are solution. So you need to use this one to show that, okay, this is a solution to this. And then this is also a solution to this. But let me ask you one question. The question that you ask me is, why is it that this is having two solutions? Because if you are using this to verify this, why? This is because this is the, the degree is two. So it's kind of a quadratic. If I have a x squared plus b x plus c is equal to zero, then the root or the solution for this should be two because it's squared. So that is the reason why the solution here is two. So do this and leave your final results in the comment section. See you.
in the next video where we are going to talk about initial value problem.